Hi everyone. In this channel I will try to enhance your experience with unique and exceptional techniques. And I hope you will like my channel too. So first of all you can uh, you can see this is uh, a soldering iron unit and the pencil is missing and it's even expensive if you are going to buy from the market it's more than eighty dollars so I uh, in substitute I bought this one this pencil it's very cheap like four dollars just from Aliexpress and uh, I will try to use this one and you can see this socket so I just it's also five point socket but when I used it I, I got some I experienced that there is some smoke from here maybe the connections are not perfect so we have to change the connections from inside so let's start our journey okay I'm cutting this one to check the connections So you can see there are four wires plus one white this is a ground and uh, this grounded one is on the fifth one so there are four left so that's mean they're supposed to be two for the heating element and two for the temperature control or sense whatever sensor so I'm going to check it now with the meter digital meter so here you go so I'm checking, it's not working. So that's mean the heater is okay. Heat temperature controller is okay, but the element I think that smoke what I witnessed before due to the wrong connection. I have to fix from the pencil so it's the the connection is not okay as and I as I mentioned that I I realized that there is some smoke coming because due to the wrong connection and that's uh, you can see this I'm lucky that the wire is burned from outside instead of ceramic element so I will try to fix this one see now that I am trying to join two edges of the wire so hopefully I will be successful join two edges of the wire but the thing is that this is a steel wire and tin means we cannot solder it so I found this one so this clamp I will use so it will further avoid the spark or uh, any joint misplacing okay so now I am going to join this one See now it is perfectly soldered on the right place so this part is done before red and black was not working so now because we joined from inside the connections are now okay and you can see the buzzer is confirming that the connection is okay now 
so these two are for the elements and these two wires are for the temperature sensor so now I am going to fix I'm going to solder it on the points and let's see what will happen that uh, beside this ground there is a red cable then black then green and then blue that means these two are for the heating element and these two are for the heating sensor so hopefully it will work now see this one is a magnet sensor maybe in the original they have like uh, some magnet thing that which you know trigger this sensor and then it start working so if you see this one I'm turning on now I'm turning it on you can see this is a green light and when the magnet is going nearby that sensor it start blinking and becoming red that's mean it need to be it is giving the signal to get ready for heat so I'm plugging in now here you go let's see the heating element that's getting red it's getting here you can see the smoke is coming out also it's getting red it's getting red and if I will get will increase it it will go more okay red so the element is getting red and even that light is also blinking and the sensor is working properly that's why when it is getting overheat so automatically it is going down then again it's getting hot it's getting low it's getting high you can see that red so that's mean it's working okay so I'm using the epoxy in order to avoid uh, any soldering misplaced from the socket from the points so once you will use this one epoxy uh, magic is also working properly so now I am just covering uh, the metal thing I'm covering this with whatever the socket you know components are so here you go and done okay fellows uh, it's done even uh, you can see this one I bind it with the rope with the thread white thread so hopefully it will never break in future unless if I don't have intention to open it so here you go the five points are there it is functioning properly and uh, it is melting the nickel also so thank you very much and don't forget to s subscribe